Well, it's clearing now, but hundreds of people were here just a few hours ago for the dedication of the Station Fire Memorial Park. Some are calling it a final chapter. Others say it's a new beginning. Bringing the music back. That was the goal of Sunday's dedication ceremony at the Station Fire Memorial Park in West Warwick. Hundreds gathered at the site where 100 lives were lost 14 years ago. Jason Morton, 38. Local students raised single red roses as each victim's name was read aloud. The families and friends of those victims and the survivors of that terrible night coming together to dedicate the park that was 14 years and millions of dollars in the making. Long after all of us are gone, this site will educate and inspire future generations of Rhode Islanders, keep the memories of the victims alive, provide cautionary lessons that could help save lives in the future, honor the heroism of everyday Rhode Islanders who did incredible things to help their brothers and sisters. Treasurer Seth Magaziner, one of many local dignitaries to take to the podium, reflecting on the lives lost and others that were forever changed. Oh, this is never the final chapter. This is a new beginning. Jody King lost his brother Tracy in the fire. For David Kane, it was his son, Nicholas O'Neill, the fire's youngest victim. Now his name forever memorialized with the 99 others. And I'm really thrilled with it. And I think it's going to bring a lot of, a lot of solace to people. Go on and trust yourself. Singer Billy Gilman sung about heroes, those who gave and risked their lives to save others, those who sacrificed, those who survived. On Sunday, hundreds gathered at the scene of the tragedy, now transformed into a lasting tribute. In West Warwick, I'm Kim Kalunian. Back to you.